Okay, welcome back to Fellowship with Amina. It's going to be another noisy one, guys. I have one twin that's up and she is like determined. She's sitting outside my door, it sounds like, and every now and then she has an outburst. <clears throat> For some reason, my throat's been scratchy lately. I don't know what that's about. I don't feel sick. It's not a cold. It's like, you know, just keeping on eating a clear throat. Maybe it's throat chakra stuff where I'm feeling like I'm not being heard or something I need to say isn't being said. <coughs> Could be that. Could be that. Alright, let's just clear the energy. Woosa. So I wasn't going to do this reading tonight. I didn't know what I was doing. I had the card sitting out for a while and I was like, hmm, I could tell. Let me change this because I could tell this music <clears throat> later when I upload it, it's going to sound mad annoying in the video. Those Tibetan bowls. All right, now nothing wants to play. I'm just trying to find something that ain't going to get me flagged. But I need a little ambiance in case this girl decides she want to spaz. Okay, that's a little too much. <coughs> oh, excuse me, y'all. Kool-Aid. Okay. Welcome to Fellowship with Amina. Um. Today's reading, like I said, I wasn't really planning on doing this one because I did a live earlier. However, this one just came to me. And what this reading is, it's a two pal pick a card, pick a pal. And it's called, Can I Trust This Person? So what you have to do is have a certain person in mind <clears throat> when you select your pal. So you can have two people in mind, tops, and give each of them a pal, okay? We have pal number one, which is going to have a little message in it for you that I'm going to pull out last. And we have pal number two, which will have a little message in it for you that I'll pull out last. You choose your pal. What you're going to find out is what's going on with this person, what their intentions are with you. Can you trust them? Um, you know, uh, the advice moving forward with this person. And also, what is it that is bringing you and this person together? Like, what is the point? Okay. So, here we go. By now, you should have made your selection. I'm going to start, of course, psych. I'm not going to start with pound number one today. We're going to start with pound number two. You choose pound number two, you always gotta wait. Or you choose three, you always gotta wait. Nah. Today, if you chose pound number two, you go first. Okay. So here we go. This is last. <clears throat> so let's see, what's going on? Can you trust this person that pound number two is thinking about right now? We have the princess of disc, which is the princess of pentacles, reverse. The strength card reversed. Seven of, I believe, pentacles. Failure. The Knight of Swords, the Game Master, reversed. The Shadow Energy that you might not be seeing. The Fool, reversed. Mm. Okay. 
So my pile number twos, let me tell you now. <clears throat> Can you trust this person? No. No, you can't. This person sees you as very kind. See this kindergarten teacher here? They think you're very kind and caring and sweet. It's in reverse, so it's almost like... Someone who's taking their time. Taking their time with it. <coughs> <coughs> they see you as weak. They don't see your strength. You're really very strong, but for some reason they're underestimating you. This person is a failure. They failed at whatever, or they feel they failed at whatever it is they've tried to achieve. So now they play games, they dishonest, they spy, they use social media to watch people. They make stupid choices and they think you're stupid, naive. You make stupid choices. <clears throat> See what else is going on with this person. I don't like their energy. Can you trust this person? Oh, wait, sorry. We got the Knight of Wands reversed. Somebody trying to play the kindergarten teacher, playing games, offering some new started love, Ace of Cups. That's how they came at you, they knew your weakness was your emotions or they feel your weaknesses your emotions the chariot coming in fast too if they didn't offer it it's coming if they didn't do it yet it's like almost like they feel like it's something that it's owed them like you owe it to them I don't know. It's weird. That was weird. With the Six of Wands reversed. <clears throat> With this Knight of Swords. This person watches you. They watch you on social media. Obsessively. We got the Devil. person watches you obsessively on social media <clears throat> they either think they got you by the balls like you a fool or they willing to do stupid shit one or the other no this person is not to be trusted mm -mm. now the devil coming through especially So whoever you were thinking of, we got to know. All right. What advice we have moving forward? We got living light energy, see beauty, see the beauty in life. And meditation, improvements require persistence. So I feel like your answers are going to come from going within. That's your advice, is to meditate and to think positive. Stay positive. Uh, stay around things of beauty. Go out into nature. Um, focus on what's great and not what's bad. Okay? That's what I'm really getting. You're going to call in what you're thinking. So meditate, levitate, elevate. You know all that good stuff. I'm sorry. Okay. Why was why were you brought together? These you and this person. Chamber of the Violet Flame. Karmic release. Radical transformation. You and this person were brought together to finish out some shit from the past. From your past lives. Karmic shit. Wow. Total radical transformation. 
you guys were meant to really fix something from a past lifetime that would completely transform you and change things for lifetimes and generations to come. Fucking amazing, y'all. I'm sorry about my language. That card is dope right there. And I call it the, the violet flame. At least I try when I meditate. So maybe that's something you should do as well. Um, and Earth's... Earth star activation, anchoring, grounded, action, Isis energy. So, wow, you and this person probably had past lifetimes in Egyptian, in the Egyptian uh, empire days. I'm getting that. Wow, I'm getting a lot of passion. Many lifetimes as lovers or friends, whoever this is you're thinking of. Many lifetimes of betrayals I'm also seeing. But I'm seeing getting grounded. Like how she's pulling herself up almost like out of a grave. I feel like that's the release from this obsessive energy. This person who thinks they got a hold on you or thinks you a fool or willing to do foolish shit. All right. What should you do moving forward? We got natural springs. Jump in while you can. This is from my homemade um, deck. Gateway to Unseen Realms. So it says, hot waters simmer beneath the surface, waiting for the divine. Time to release what was bubbling like thoughts in a mind. Jump in while they heat up from core contact, then erupt. Sending you way up in the air, changes come that seem abrupt. You got this card because you are being pushed to do something outside of your comfort zone that will be a huge part of your ascension and growth. This is a time to be daring and to unleash any suppressed ideas. So moving forward, what I'm getting is that something needs to change drastically and that there's going to be a drastic change out of nowhere. Things are just going to erupt and um, it's going to push you out of what was familiar. Maybe you got to let go of something you've held on to for a long time. And um, either way, it's going to be a huge part of your spiritual growth and ascension. And um, don't be afraid. Saying this is your chance now. Jump in while you can. This is your chance to, to really let free feelings that you've suppressed. That you've held down. Because either way. It's bubbling within you. And it's going to erupt. Okay. So if it's somebody that you're thinking of. If you're thinking of this person. And I'm telling you now. They're not trustworthy. No. They're not. Um, you need to let them know how you feel. Before. Your natural springs. Go off. Okay. All right, so let's see what the divine door, which card we get. This would be some advice as well, as far as this situation is concerned. But just overall guidance. Go always use guidance. All right, we're going to start shuffling in here. We have... This is your door, pile number twos, and it says, a moment's joy. Sand through the hourglass, yet time could stand still. A moment lasts forever in the bliss of the heart's will. So there's an experience coming soon. Don't worry about this person. There's something coming that's going to... 
make you feel like time has stopped. Um, you've never experienced bliss like this before. What you hold on to in your heart is what lasts forever. Okay, so let this moment go. Don't keep it in your heart center. There's more moments of joy that are ahead. Okay, remain open to them. That's what I'm getting with that. Okay. That's what I have for you, my pound number twos. That's what I got. Um, if this is where we part ways, please remember to subscribe to the channel. Know that I love you. I wish you luck in dealing with this person and this situation. Um, I did not see anything positive, really. So, except that you have an opportunity now to say how you feel. You know, ask your questions. You might not get the answers you want. But let this person know that you are aware that they think that they're gaming you or whatever that they think they're playing you and if you haven't encountered them yet then when you do okay because they're coming in i saw the chariot all right thank you my pound number two peace blessings and all that good stuff that comes from being a part of my tribe let's move on to my pound number ones of course last but not least we got your little baggie here that last Let's see what the heck is going on. Can you trust this person? Think of your person now. Can pound number one trust this person? Can pound number one trust this person? Okay. So I'm getting you can trust this person. Whoever you were thinking of. Um, so I have here first the Knight of Pentacles, the Gourmet Chef. This is somebody who's kind of a perfectionist. They take their time with stuff. They like the finer things. Um, sometimes they have poor budgeting, poor investments, putting their money into stuff because they're a little greedy. And it backfires. But um, I see a new opportunity. Somebody's very passionate about starting something fresh. A new passion project. Could be a new union. Something where they're feeling very free and energized. Okay. We have the High Priestess here. This is high intuition and spiritual connection going on here. Five of Swords. Defeat. It's almost like I'm getting somebody feels like they took a gamble on things and they didn't they're willing to risk defeat or they might have been defeated before but this time they don't care they're willing to do whatever to win is what i'm getting to get what they want this is what they want they want sex they want pleasure they want that uh good good and it looks like it'd be real good good so if this is somebody you were thinking about being intimate with I'm getting follow your intuition. It would be a very passionate union. Um, I don't know. Let's see what the butts are. Let's let's see what else is going on. Okay, here we go. We got the Ten of Wands. This Knight of Pentacles is trying to put down some burdens, trying to let go of some things. Let's see if they really are. Oh, they made a choice. Two of swords. Okay. They must be going towards this new beginning. This passion project. The magician reversed with the high priestess. So they are calling 
in the high priestess or the high priestess is calling them in there's a lot of spiritual work um could even be somebody trying to use black magic y'all i gotta keep it real when i feel it um candle work and stuff yeah i see candle magic um somebody that's really really determined and i don't get that they're untrustworthy what i get is that They're just very determined not to face defeat. Um, yeah, three of wands. It's like somebody that's waiting. They feel like their ship hasn't come in. It's something that they feel is due to them or that's theirs and they're waiting. They made up their mind. Yeah, it's the queen of wands. So if you're the feminine, if you're a feminine energy, then it's you, this person sees, they would like to be with, pretty much. They think you're beautiful, they think everything you touch turns to gold. You're passionate, you make them feel like they can have a passionate new beginning with you, with all these wands. Um, they feel like they missed the boat last time, and this time they don't plan on missing the boat. So if there's someone that's been pushing up hard, or somebody that you feel like um maybe interested or someone you just started with and you're like can i trust this energy they're saying yeah you could trust it it's just you know be careful i get don't drink with this person too much you might do stuff without you know being conscious um this person's re willing to be willing to be take gambles and be risky so just be careful the intention's not bad it's just the means this person is willing to take to get what they intend all right okay so let's see what else is going on Why were you two brought together? Astral travel. Caution is needed. You and this person um, are connected. Like on a telepathic level. Maybe you feel like they can send you messages through your mind. Or y'all can meet up on other astral planes. I think masturbation is intense. I'm getting with this falling here right with the ace of wands that this person does think about you on that level and possibly both ways um soul fragments balance will be restored there's something about this person that is a part of you almost like a twin or twin flame there's some kind of balance that needs to be restored um you guys have to come together and there's more fire here you guys have to come together in order for balance to be restored. It's almost like you're not your whole selves. Um, feeling you're not together only because this person's journeying with their baggage and waiting here at the shore. So it's like either you're not together or you're not able to be together often. Alright. Let's see advice. Soul star activation, fulfilling soul contracts, remembering who you are. Wow. And Venusian Galactic Council, star being guides, answer the call, time to shine. Wow, this is so bright, you can't even really see it. All right, it's time for you to step into your light. I'm seeing like someone in the center and two other smaller bodies. It's like, I feel like you're a leader. I feel like just having the queen of wands, I know you're a leader. You're someone that's out there in the front, in the spotlight. You're full of passion, full of energy. Look at all of this light. You're a beacon to other people. You're very wise, very old soul, um, a star seed on top of that. And um, 
yeah, advice is to tap into who you really are. Into your ancient wisdom. Into your true powers. And call in what you need to make what you want manifest. This person can be trusted, but at the same time I get manifest your light. Shine. Connect to source. That's why you're fragmented. It ain't because you need that person. It's because you need to become whole again and connect to source. Connect to source. All right. What's the outcome of this? What's the last bit of advice? An oracle, divination, and the 5D, which is pretty much like astral travel. They stand around the amethyst tower, hands send and receive its light. Energy that clears chakras and improves crown connections as well as third sight. Visit these magicians, they're gifted magicians. Somebody say magicians. They're gifted beyond compare. They will show you how to tap in too. These divine feminine wizards, high priestess, will bring out the divine in you. You got this card today because it's time to truly use your powers of telepathy, clairvoyance, mediumship, alchemy, etc. You're needed on the planet now. Begin to put your plans into action. Third eye chakra, clear focus on that third eye chakra is needed at this time. You're very intuitive. You manifest what you want. You are a beacon, you're a light, you're a leader. Like, look at this strength and this wisdom and this just, <sighs> power ones. All right, let's go to your little pouch. Now, I believe this is my pouch with the vibes in it. I believe, yeah. So what I'm going to get for you is the vibe of this person. And that'll let you know for sure whether or not you could trust them. I'm going to take if it's reversed. I don't usually do reverses with these. If it's reversed, I'm going to take it as this is what's off with this person. Okay? Okay. got reverse sky blue sky blue is usually a peaceful carefree open-minded limitless person who reaches high for the sky for their dreams so this person pretty much is not having peace right now they are not very carefree or open-minded they don't feel limitless right now they're feeling kind of stuck or they're trying to move towards feeling peaceful and carefree maybe that's what you represent to them They're not feeling very empowered. Boy. They're also um, not feeling, they feel like they're in a fog. We got divine sight reversed, third eye wide open. That means they are not feeling very connected. They don't feel like they can see what's ahead. So they might be a little fearful. I'll give you three more. They are in a loving life energy. So they are slowly trying to move into that sky blue energy. However, they have silver reversed home, longing, ah, visions. This is a star seed who's really missing feeling of familiarity. Maybe they miss you. Y'all aren't around each other. Maybe they don't know how to astral travel. They miss home and they don't realize they're longing for it. We got Akashic Records. Um, and all of that silver reverse under empowered. So feeling this disconnect from the familiar, from home, whatever they're longing for and missing has them feeling very weak. Last, neon green. 
Time to stand out. Stop playing small and glow. So at least they are trying to change this vibe. But right now, we got low energy reverse. So the energy is starting to go back up. So that's good. Okay? So this person is trying to change. They are trying to move into a better, more positive mindset and energy. However, right now, what I would say is if you are the feminine energy you need to chill be on your own manifest your stuff this person really just want to um it's kind of just lusting after you right now is what i'm feeling um eventually i do feel there is a love there but with the drinks there i just feel like it's lust based right now and that there's still some growing that needs to be done um before this can really manifest into what it's supposed to be according to divine and on the note of all my kids making noise now i'm gonna end this reading here i hope it resonated with you my pal number ones i love all you guys thank you for supporting me i really really appreciate it um okay i'm out peace love blessings and all that good stuff that comes from being a part of my amazing, abundant, prosperous, beautiful, God, goddess, just all around divine tribe. Mwah.